welcome back to my channel. So excited that you're here. If this is your first time here on my channel, my name is Brooke and I am a homeschool mom, a business owner, a seminary student, a part-time worker at our church, and a homeschool mom. I don't know if I said that already. There's too many titles to count, but I am somebody who is just ambitious and excited to get to share all the things and hopefully help other moms out there, whether it be in their faith, their fitness, their homeschool, their goals, those types of things. So if that is something that you are interested in, I would love for you to hit the subscribe button and join this channel and get all of the notifications for all the videos I have coming up. I do post videos every week on Mondays and Thursdays. Our Monday videos are typically a podcast episode based on something along the lines that go with a Christian walk. And then on Thursdays, I post homeschool content, tips, tricks, strategies, ways that I homeschool our family, our boys, not our family, but I homeschool our children. And I just pray that it's a light or a blessing or an encouragement to other people out there. So thank you for being here. Today's episode is all about how I prepare for a homeschool week. I think that when we prepare for things, there's a, a saying, it says, plan, fail to plan, plan to fail. And I'm a very big proponent of that. I do think it's very important as a homeschool mom to be prepared ahead of time to show up for the school day, knowing what you're doing and how you're doing it and why you're doing it and all of those things. It just makes for an easier flow for the day. So in today's video, I'm gonna be taking you through how I prepare for a new homeschool week. What I did not show in the video is how I keep I keep up with our housework ahead of time. So I kind of get a head start on Sundays. So I do my school week prep on Sunday evenings. Typically, it's what you'll see. And what I didn't picture was just getting the house picked up for the week. So I always on Sundays will dust and, and vacuum and mop downstairs and get the homeschool area cleaned up and decluttered and, and organized and ready to go because you know over the weekend things get a little bit crazy. Maybe we didn't clean up from the school week, the, the week prior. And so I like to go into a Monday morning school day with a fresh clean slate. And so I make sure that I get all of the homeschool area, the downstairs of our home picked up, tidied up, ready to go so that we can wake up the next morning and dive right in without any of that added stress or clutter. So I did get the house cleaned before I started this video that you're gonna see coming up in a bit. And then I dove into all of the preparations for homeschool and I'll walk you through that in the video. So I hope this is helpful for you. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment box below and I'd be happy to answer them for you. Let's get started. So the first thing I do is fill up water bottles and get them set out on the desk so they are ready to go. The most that I can prepare ahead of time so that we are not in and out of the seats constantly filling water bottles or getting snacks, I do try to do. The next thing I do is I go to each of their little cubbies. We put away everything at the end of each day. So I go through the cubbies and pull out all of their curriculum for the week. Because this is a Sunday prep, I don't have everything already organized, which is what you're going to see me doing here in this video. But I pull out their books. I pull out their binders. I've explained in previous videos what their binders look like. And I just start getting everything out so that I can go through it and pull out the lessons for the week that we're going to be doing our school for. Once I have everything pulled out, I start to go through the curriculum books for the week and I pull out all of the weekly lessons. Um, some people do like to keep the lessons in the book. I personally don't like writing in a big notebook like that. I like to have a flat piece of paper, so I would assume that my children are probably the same, make it a little bit easier for them. But I pull out their lessons for the week um, and I just put them in a little notebook that I keep in their folder. And then each day, what I'll do is go through and pull out a daily lesson and the worksheets that go along with it for that day. But I have the whole week already pulled out of the books, so I don't have to pull the books out for the rest of the week. Everything's just in their binders. Once I have the papers pulled out of the books, the, the lessons and the worksheets for the week, I go through the worksheets and I just read through them and get a brief overview of what we're going to be going through and kind of just plan in my head what we're going to be doing. If we have any certain games that we might be playing, I'll start to plan those out. But I really just want to get an idea of what it is that I'll be teaching that week so that I am ahead of the game and I'm not 
showing up to teach them and having, you know, no idea what we're about to do and going into it blind. It just, it does make a big difference when you go into your homeschool day prepared, makes it better for you and for your kiddos. The next thing I do is erase our memory verse from the week prior and look up what our memory verse for the next week is going to be. Sometimes I choose our memory verse based on just a verse that I know will speak to all of us or will help us in a certain situation that we might be facing that week or in maybe some attitude shifts that we might need or just reminders that we need to be focused on scripturally. So it just depends on kind of what we need that week, but I do pick a verse each week for all of us to memorize together. My husband usually participates with us in this as well, and it makes it really fun for all of us to kind of get to test each other at the end of the week and see who knows the verse. It's a little bit of an unspoken competition to see who has it. And just a fun way for us to include dad in homeschool and um, get God's word into our hearts and our minds. The next thing I do is pull out our morning basket and I keep this out the night before. I do put it away at the end of each homeschool day just because if I keep it out, the boys will play with it and <laughs> destroy all of the things in it and lose stuff. So I put it away at the end of each day, but at the beginning of a new week, I go through our history curriculum, our Bible curriculum, and our science curriculum and do the same thing I did with the math and the language arts. I pull out each of the lessons for the week. I put them in my binder because my binder is in our homeschool basket or our morning basket and um, just again go through each of those lessons, get an idea of what Bible lessons I'm teaching, what history lessons I'm teaching, and what YouTube lessons I'm teaching, or not YouTube, what science lessons I'm teaching so that I can then start to look for videos which are typically on YouTube. I'll look for videos that kind of correlate with what we're learning that week so that I can give them a little bit of reading, a little bit of TV, and it's educational TV at that. So just kind of helps to engage their senses in different ways, and they always do seem to pay attention a little bit easier when the TV has something interesting. So I will usually read the lesson, and then we'll watch a YouTube video about the lesson when it comes to science and history, and they really love that extra little TV time for the day. So here I'm just pulling out those lessons and getting them into my binder so that we're ready to go for the next school day. Once we have everything kind of looked over, I clean out the basket a little bit if there's anything extra in there, and I just stage it for the next day. So as soon as we wake up and get ready for our homeschool day, we can dive right in. Everything's pulled out and ready to go. There's no guesswork as to what we were doing, and it just makes our homeschool mornings so much easier. All right, this concludes our Sunday homeschool week prep. I hope that this video was helpful for you. I would love to know in the comments below if you have any homeschool prep tips, things that work for you that maybe I didn't mention. Drop them in the comments. Let other homeschool parents that might see this video get some insight from other some people other than me out there in the world. I know there are lots of different ways to homeschool and to prepare and plan for the week ahead, so I would love to know your tips. It'll help me as well. And I just thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And as always, I pray that it was a blessing to you, that you're taking a, a quick nugget away that you can apply in your own homeschool journey. And I wish you the best week and the best start to the new homeschool year.